<laughs> oh, you're already here. Right. We better crack on with it then. So, how you going? You're all right, eh? Yes. So, this is the second video about words from the Swadesh list uh, and the exchange of words due to taboo restrictions. So, as I said in the previous video, I looked at the old uh, Nara Italian word list from the 1860s. I looked up all the words on the long Schwadesh list that I could find there. Uh, and then I looked uh, at more modern Nara to see which words had changed. Uh, we discussed four such words in the previous video, and here are the remaining eight. So, I was just standing here writing Gulia. Uh, now, when it comes to uh, ear and words for ear, uh, we need to note that uh, the word that was described to me as the cultured word, uh, winning, did not change. Uh, the more everyday word did change though. So in the 1860s they used Gurga. Uh, the more modern word is Gulia. Uh, now these two words are of course not completely different uh, as are the remaining words in the two sets here. Uh, they share uh, a first syllable. So I don't know, perhaps uh, Gulia was considered to be different enough from Gurga. Uh, who knows? But as you can see with the remaining words, they are completely different. So the word for I in the 1860s was Gurur. This is the word I am familiar with and have heard, Jidamara. Uh, the word for wing was Wiru and changed to Jiri. The word for back, the one I just displayed a short while ago, uh, was Jungo and changed to Pinga. Uh, when it comes to uh, sun and words for the sun, the old word, as you can see, was Yanda. Uh, and in the more modern material, actually there are two different words that are used. This one is more frequent, Mabal, but there is also this one, Majarin. Uh, it's unclear to me why there are two different words, but that's how it is. We can't do anything about that. Uh, when it comes to water, the old uh, Pamanyungan word, Paba, which exists in quite a number of languages, was replaced by this word, which I know for a fact came uh, down from the northeast from non Pamanyungan languages uh, up there. So this is Wula. Uh, and you see that the words for red, the color red, are also completely different. Uh, Biliari uh, in the 1860s and Miji Miji uh, in the more modern Nara from the 1940s. Uh, and last, 
we have the word for left, uh, left side, which was Jumbo, evidently, in the 1860s. Jumbo, which is also the greeting in Swahili, uh, Swahili spoken in Eastern Africa. Uh, and this changed to Marjan Yugari. Uh, now here I would like to point out that Gadi is a semantic case marker. It marks side locative, so to the side of or on the side uh, of left side, right side, something like that. Uh, the word for right stayed the same. Uh, it is the same in the old Nara Italian uh, word list and in more modern Nara. But interestingly enough, in the old list it occurs without uh, a semantic case marker, but uh, in more modern Nara something had obviously changed. Uh, because uh, people did not want to use uh, these words for right and left without adding uh, the semantic case suffix kadi. Uh, yes, so something had changed in, uh, in how these words were treated. But anyway, you see the effects uh, of the taboo restrictions here, uh, words for common things are replaced usually by completely different words. Uh, and this went on for a long time, uh, as far as we can tell. That will be all for today, I think. So, see you later.